What else can you do? Oh, for sure. Oh, for sure. It's, it's like stakes and ladders, you know? Like one day, you can be called. The next day, you've stepped on a snake and you've gone down. And you're going through life, then out of nowhere, you get this surge of energy and you climb a ladder. And you climb a ladder, then you might take a step back because you stepped on a snake, like, you know? Um, yeah. And you see, the smoking bud thing. I'm not against people that, um, that you know, participate with the Mary Jane, you know, that indulge with the Mary Jane. You know, we all have our vices and coping mechanisms and stuff like that. But you know, like, let's say, let's say, if your reason is recreation, to relax and to cool, you know, it is what it is, you know. But if you're, you know, indulging in Mary Jane, right? Chilling out with Mary Jane to numb yourself, to distract yourself, um, to distract yourself from, you know, coping with a certain situation, right? It's like you're, it's like you're robbing yourself of the pain that's going to force you to adapt and change or grow. Do you know what I mean? It's like you're prolonging the healing process. You're picking scabs. You know, it's like the pain will pass. The pain will pass, but where you're, where you're chilling with Mary Jane, it's like you're prolonging it. You're not sitting in it. You're not processing it. You know, you're avoiding it, you're numbing it. Like, but that's, that's my, you know, personal opinion on it. Like, um, sometimes you need to sit with it and be with it and process it and make sense of it. Then you can learn from it. And once you've learned from it, you won't do it again. And, you know, it's a slow re rebuild process for sure. But you're rebuilding. But when you're, when you're indulging in Mary Jane, chilling with Mary Jane, you're just kind of prolonging the process. That's how I feel about it, you know what I mean? You know, um, but you know, some people where, some people, the, the pain is so aggressive to them, they need to numb themselves. So it, it is what it is, it is what it is. And that, uh, but when you say um, you numbed yourself for years smoking bud, hopefully you're on the other end and you're cool. You're okay now, hopefully. But if it's recreational, you know, do your thing, you know. But if you're doing it to escape, It's like you're running from the fight rather than uh, addressing the fight head on. You know what I mean? Because you know the only the only thing that's going to happen from a fight is you're going to win the fight or you're going to learn from the fight. You know you don't lose a fight; you just learn from it. That's the, the only L you take from a fight is a lesson. You can win and have a lesson, or you just Get you, or you just got some data to learn from. But there's no losses. There's no losses because you still gained. How do you lose if you gain? You gained experience, um, and you gained a lesson, something to learn from. It's not a loss. For sure. Yeah, I feel you. I feel you, Fortune. I feel you. You know, like me personally. Um, one of the reasons why I don't indulge in um, chilling with Mary Jane is because in my I haven't <clears throat> I haven't achieved what I need to achieve to be that relaxed in life ever. You know what I mean? Like, that's my own my own theory in regards to Mary Jane. It's like yeah, it relaxes you. I don't deserve to be that relaxed. 